You're listening to Blue Radio. Bringing um, mimi naitwa Dina Utieno. Mhm. Nafanya kazi na shirika la sauti ya wanawake as a program officer. Mhm. In charge of programs. Na um, uh, just in brief, sauti ya wanawake organization Pwani is um, a women rights movement. Mhm. Um waswahili wanasema ni vuguvugu la wanawake. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo sisi ni shirika ambalo ni vuguvugu la wanawake hapa mkoa wa Pwani. So majorly tuko based katika six counties za coastal region. Uh-huh. Tukianza na Mombasa County, mm-hmm. Kilifi County, Kwale, Tana River County, Taita Taveta na lastly Lamu County. Hey, hey, so you when you say vuguvugu it means um, <laughs> nikisema ni vuguvugu <laughs> Um, wajua nimeona ni vizuri ni changanye but hey. Kiswahili na Kiingereza kwa yes. sababu uh, lugha yetu ya Pwani inaeleweka zaidi mm-hmm. kwa asili wa Pwani ni Kiswahili. Yeah. So nita mix. Nikisema vuguvugu la wanawake na manisha mm-hmm. we are uh, the voice of women, we are women rights movement kumaanisha kwamba um, by the design of uh, sauti ya wanawake the members mm-hmm. ni wanawake na ili ni shirika ambalo lilianza katika grassroots level mm-hmm. katika jamii kwa wanawake wale wa chini kabisa mm-hmm. ambao walikuja pamoja uh, kwa sababu ya changamoto ambazo the women were facing in the community mm-hmm. na hizi changamoto majorly zilikuwa ni kuhusu mambo ya gender based violence uh-huh. alafu pia walikuwa wana face issues of um, in access to basic rights ambazo hizi ni health mm-hmm. kuna right to health education mm-hmm. food security mm-hmm. ambapo tunaona hizi ni changamoto wanawake wamekuwa kipata sana unapata kuwa kiafya wanahitaji kupata matibabu ya kiafya so access to ile health facility sometimes unapata ni mbali na ikiwa karibu wakifika pale zile matibabu ambazo wanafaa kupata sometimes mm-hmm. ziko lakini si kikamilifu mm-hmm. it is not fully such that unapata anapata in bits maybe hakuna drugs lakini the doctor is there mm-hmm. ama sometimes unapata daktari ayuko na drugs ziko so haikui full eh, treatment ya health ambayo mwanamke anafaa kupata mm-hmm. so hizo changamoto nyingi sana ndio zilisababisha wanawake hususan kuanzia area ya Kisauni mm-hmm walikuja pamoja mm-hmm. na wakashikana kuanzisha sauti ya wanawake ka spread from Kisauni sub county mm-hmm. ikielekea kwenda mpaka Likoni kwa hivyo ni walikuwa wanawake kidogo sana kama hamsini 50 women mm-hmm. na majorly uh, ili ivuguvugu ya wanawake hamsini ilikuja baada ya wanawake ku mobilizewa makuletwa pamoja kwa community mm-hmm. na walikuwa wanapata mafunzo tofauti tofauti on advocacy jinsi ya vile wanaweza kujisimamia kama wanawake mm-hmm. ili kuweza kusimamia haki zao kutafuta haki zao kupigania haki zao mm-hmm. na haya mafunzo sana sana yaliletwa na shirika la action aid oh yeah so mm-hmm. action aid kenya action aid international kenya mm-hmm. ilikuwa kwanza ina fanya mafunzo kwa kina mama kwa sababu ya zile changamoto ambao walikuwa wakipata mm-hmm. na meja liawa ni wanawake ambao wanaishi in a, a poverty level the grassroots yani wale wanawake wa chini kabisa yeah. na hao ndio wengi tunaona hapa Kenya ama mkoa wa Pwani uh-huh. so waliletwa pamoja kupitia mafunzo mengi sana ambao walikuwa wanapata kwa action aid on advocacy mm-hmm. lobby mm-hmm. Uh, awareness on women rights mm-hmm. awareness on governance issues mm-hmm. awareness on access to basic rights ambazo hapo basic rights tunazungumzia three things mm-hmm. four things actually we are looking at water Mm-hmm. access to health mm. access to education yes na uh, the fourth one ni food security so wakaja pamoja katika ile mafunzo wakaona ni muhimu wazungumze na sauti moja mm-hmm. that is why we call ourselves the voice of women uh-huh. so ile sauti wakafikiria na wakasema tutafanya nini mm-hmm. wakaamua kuanzisha vuguvugu the movement oh. ambao wakaita sauti ya wanawake so vuguvugu in short is a movement is a movement oh. actually you're a movement uh-huh. so it grew from wanawake hamsini ikaendelea ikikua so they kept on spreading from kisauni likoni changamwe 
vita sasa hiyo ni Mombasa yes then it spread from Mombasa to all areas ikaenda mpaka sasa ika spread kufika sasa Kilifi mhm taita Taveta so it spread from one county to the other lakini katika kila ward in each county mhm tuko na movement ya sauti ya wanawake women So from 50 women to kaendelea kukua kukua mpaka 3000 4000 5000 hivyo hivyo How many hivu, are you hivu. right now? Sasa inaweza zungumzia a movement of around 9500 women. Wow. Na tunaendelea kukua kwa sababu that way mm-hmm. ndio wanawake wataweza kupata haki zao na kujisimamia kikamilifu. And for how long have you uh, been in existence as a sauti ya wanawake? at the movement kwa grassroots level yes. ilianza 2001 through the awareness na kujifunza just at the grassroots level too mm-hmm. wakaanzisha kama wanajita tunaiwaita sauti ya wanawake chapters okay na hizi chapters ndio the women at the grassroots level the groups now mm-hmm. so ilipoendelea kukua ikafika 2011 uh-huh. wanawake wakaona ah, tukiendelea hivi tunajaribu lakini bado hatufiki kupata yale malengo yetu yes so then there was a need for the women to come together again and now grow to the next level mm-hmm. and become an ngo a non governmental organization because then we realized through coming uh, forming ourselves as a non governmental organization then that way we will be able to address more challenges ambazo tunapata kwa community mm-hmm tutaweza kuwa tumekuwa sasa we can be able to mobilize mm-hmm. for more resources ili tuweze ku address zile changamoto ambazo wanawake wanapata mm-hmm. in all the six sub counties alafu pia tumekuwa we are now in all the six sub counties not one as we started in Mombasa mm-hmm. so these grassroots women came together and decided now to register and grow to become a non governmental organization mm-hmm. so now vugu vugu la the movement ya sauti ya wanawake ikakuwa registered in 2011 mm-hmm. as sauti ya wanawake organization point now the ngo yes ambayo inakuwa managed na the grassroots women, women. these are very powerful women uh-huh. i tell you uh-huh. very powerful women mm-hmm. i salute them wow and uh, when uh, when it was registered that is uh, in 2011 yes. from Let's just say from even before it was registered what are some of the achievements you can look at and say eh tukianza these things were this bad but now we are here and things are actually starting to show profit we are starting to see fruits of sauti ya wanawake pwani oh my a lot of achievements i can tell you mm-hmm. uh, one kwa sababu ya ile push ya wanawake kutaka kupata haki zao na one of the major challenges at that time ilikuwa ni women were not at any decision making table mm-hmm. hata zile decision making table levels za vijijini zile za village mm-hmm. ward level walikuwa hawako zote zilikuwa zimekuwa taken up by men na wanaume ndio walikuwa wanajitokeza kupigania na wanachaguliwa na wanachukuliwa hata by kuwa appointed mm-hmm. kuwekwa katika hizo decision making uh, tables mm-hmm. so through the push ya sauti wanawake movement we are able to push na kusema kuwa hatuoni wanawake katika hizi kamati kama ya education mm-hmm. health committee yes land committee health committee and that is why bado wanawake hawapati access to fully treatment ya health access to drugs access to ata unaona kama kwa mfano gender responsive budgeting mm-hmm. hiyo ilikuwa haionekani kabisa ukiweka wanaume wote katika meza wafanye budgeting Will they ever be gender responsive? Never because mtazamo wao wa kuangalia vitu sio kama vile ukiongeza wanawake in that decision making table mm-hmm. utapata kuwa kuna jambo fulani litangaziwa sana kwa mfano kama uh, a need to budget for sanitary towels. Yeah. Ili hizo sanitary towels ziweze kufu kuwafikia wanawake na wasichana. Mm-hmm. Haiangaziwi na hata kama itafanywa itafanywa kwa kidogo lakini mwanamke akiwa pale anaweza kuangalia na kuona kuwa kuna a big area that we need to cover. Mm-hmm. So tuka push wanawake wakasukuma mpaka sasa tukaanza tukapata wanawake wanakaa katika even now ukiangalia the health committees, education committees, mm-hmm. land 
utapata wanawake wanakaa pale from the village level to the world manake zina zina move from one level to the other to the uh, sub county level mpaka kwa county level mm-hmm. so tunajivunia kuwa kuna wanawake wengi ambao ni members wa sauti ya wanawake wanawake ambao wanatoka vijijini wanakaa katika hizo decision making tables even now wow alafu pia wanawake walikuwa wanalak katika governance level nikizungumzia governance level na manisha we have um, levels where we have leaders wanajitokeza to contest for seats na hata kuchaguliwa mm-hmm. now we are talking about the political seats yes so women were missing out from contesting kujitokeza mm-hmm. women voting for other women mm-hmm. na pia kuweza kuchaguliwa na ku sit in as elected uh, women rep elected mca elected mp and even being nominated mm-hmm. so through the push tumeweza kusukuma sana na kukaa na community na kuambia kuangalia hapa katika hii area wanawake ambao wako wengi wanaweza kujitokeza katika viti ni wangapi sometimes wako mm-hmm. they are very powerful lakini wao wenyewe hawajajiangalia kama wale ambao wanaweza contest kwa kiti na wachaguliwe yeah and that brings me to a question that um now that in Mombasa there's this notion of women are compared to other places they really do not have a voice mm-hmm. as much and now you've come and told them ah sisi ni sauti ya wanawake or and uh, we want people to be in this decision making tables right how was the response what by the community by the women the, themselves how was the response to that at that level kwanza the women themselves how wakujiamini they didn't believe in themselves that they could even a uh, share to the community level and, and say i believe i can contest for this seat mm-hmm. i have all the uh, uh, required um, uh, qualities to contest for this seat wao wenye kwanza hawakujiamini kama wanaweza but we looked at them na tukaona already wako na qualities na skills sio lazima huyu mwanamke awe amepata uh, masters ama amepata doctorate ndio tuseme kuwa now she can be elected as a leader no 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 in mm-hmm. fact the best leaders the best leaders now ni wale ambao wanatoka katika community already they are doing things in the community without resources the small small resources that they can mobilize that they have that does not require too much money mm-hmm. na wanafanya mambo mengi sana kusaidia jamii mm-hmm. those are the best leaders mm-hmm. and those are the ones we were identifying together with the community members and we brought men on board mm-hmm. na tukawaambia wanaume skiza we need to look at these women with an eye kwamba wanaweza ku lead na tukajaribu ku generalize na kuangalia the qualities of these women in the community mm-hmm. na kweli walikubali na tukawa identify na tukawaambia you people can lead get into this leadership positions mm-hmm. contest share manifestos by the way one of the challenges the women have been having mm-hmm. even the ones who are uh, elected now yes at as mcas are nominated yeah wajo kuna hii the journey the journey to getting into this political seat and being elected uh-huh. you need to have resources you must have a road map whereby ukona as a strategic plan true yako yeah, your manifesto mm-hmm. what does your manifesto what say what are you selling what are you selling mm-hmm. so they could sell it by talking sharing mm-hmm. but now putting it down in paper has been a challenge uh-huh. and we are grateful as Sota Nawake because we were able to mobilize resources from our many partners mm-hmm. who are supporting us na tuliwa peleka hawa wanawake into an intensive training on how to do their strategic plan mm-hmm. what to come up with what needs now we really supported them because we were able to mobilize so many people who are qualified in this kwa saidia kutengeneza their manifestos to share with them mm-hmm. and we are grateful kwa sababu hivyo tulipata many women contesting kwanza tu mm-hmm. like in Kilifi county we were able to have around 140 women contesting for political seats wow. as mcs wow that is Kilifi alone alone and uh-huh. that is a big step kwa sababu walikuwa ta hawajitokezi to contest True. by the virtue of them coming up to say hey we believe we can be mcs we can be mps yeah that alone is a good sign and a success because then when they contest many of them then we are sure at least 
one, two, three of them are able to be elected. Mm -hmm. And then now that gives them also a chance for many of them to be nominated into those slots. Mm -hmm. Then even in Mombasa, tulipata wengi walijitokeza this time round, last elections, the, the number has been growing from yes. each, each and every other election year. Mm -hmm. So even in Mombasa, we, have, we had a lot. I can talk about around 100 and around 30. Mm -hmm. That is just the minimum number na kupatia tu ya wali wamejitokeza to, to contest. Yeah. Even as senators. Mm -hmm. Although many of them waliingia kukontest as MCAs. Yeah. So, at least, like in Mombasa, we have six who are elected. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's that's a, a milestone. Step. Yeah. That's a milestone because mm -hmm. then for us, tunasema kuwa wanawake wote ni wanawake wa sauti ya wanawake. Wow. Because then you don't need to have a qualification for us to tell you now you can't be a member of Sauti Anawake. Wewe huwezi kukuwa member, apana. Mm -hmm. Tunaitaji kila mwanamke on board so that we are able to voice out for mm -hmm. issues of women. Wow. My name is Dana Mbui and I have a guest with me today from Sauti Anawake Pwani. And the things that these guys are doing. Ooh great things uh they brought leaders into this space in pony and uh, some of the leaders i nimesikia hapa kwa break nikole like, wait a minute that one too i will tell us about that one by the way i wanted to come from the horse's mouth um katika viongozi wanawake ambao this previous elections year waliweza kuchaguliwa mm -hmm in Mombasa County yes. tukiangalia kwa MCAs tuko na a very powerful woman from Mtongwe anaitwa MCA Nusura mm -hmm. she is our sauti ya wanawake member from sauti ya wanawake Mtongwe chapter remember we have chapters so mm -hmm. in Likoni chapters ni nyingi yes so huyu anatoka Mtongwe mm -hmm. na unaona kazi ya wanawake hata kuweza kuzungumza na wanaume na vijana mm -hmm waona umuhimu wa kuchagua mwanamke na walikuwa wengi sana contesting mm -hmm. and we are grateful she made it hiyo mm -hmm. tunasema ni again because then through her we will be able to push for many many things that women need to see within Mombasa County government mm -hmm. na kuna wengine very powerful woman anaitwa Mishimboko mm -hmm. she is our sauti ya wanawake member from Likoni chapter in fact she was our member kabla hata ajue kuwa anaweza kuchaguliwa kama women rep. Wow, really? Mm. Wow. So unaona such women, mm -hmm. we have women from the grassroots level mm -hmm. na wanajitokeza na wanaweza kuchaguliwa. By the way, ukiwa wewe unagombea kiti mm -hmm. within Mombasa County, ukishika hawa wanawake, the grassroots women, sauti ya wanawake women believe you me ni raisi sana ku sell through mm -hmm. na kuweza kupata hicho kiti women are powerful mm -hmm. na they are the major voters and they are able to talk to men na kuwaelezea this is our candidate this time round you will make it okay let's move from uh, politics and women let's move on to this challenge that has been there for in most uh, recent years especially gender based violence it has yes. been rampant we have seen it increase especially even during the covid time and uh, sauti ya wanawake how uh, do you or how have you been able to look into this issue of gender based violence i believe that is part of your thematic areas uh -huh. yes in fact uh, gender based violence is our one of our core thematic areas mm -hmm. tuko na nyingi mm -hmm. but GBV is one of them maybe nitashare hizo zingine later, later as we go on uh -huh. so gender based violence has been an issue mm -hmm. in this country in this coast region in in all the six counties na kuanzia kitambo even before 2001 gender based violence ilikuwa and mostly it affects women the youth the girls the children tunaona um, kitambo ilikuwa sana sana most of the women who are facing it in, in a large number lakini as things kept on growing na pia tuko na dynamic issues keep on changing every now and then mm -hmm. we are even seeing now the boy child is being affected na issues of GBV especially sodomy mm -hmm. tunaona kwa sasa watoto wengi wa kiume 
wanakuwa sodomized and that is a GBV issue. Mm-hmm. Alafu sasa tukija kwa wanaume wakubwa tunaona domestic violence also is rampant. Mm-hmm. I know kitambo ilikuwa mm-hmm. and men were not reporting. Yes. But through the awareness that we have been creating saizi wanaume wana come up in a big number to report na wanataka usaidizi domestic wamepigwa na wanawake mm-hmm. wanaume are reporting kwamba the women are infringing their rights at home mm-hmm. unapata kuwa mke wake haonekani kabisa yuko lakini hayuko mm-hmm. so vitu kama hizo wana report ili tuweze kuwasaidia na pia unaweza pata kuna wanaume wana report kuwa as much as they are wako katika ndoa mm-hmm. at home mm-hmm. but unapata kuwa the wife sasa hashuliki tena na watoto Mm-hmm. Yuko mbioni juu chini hujui hata yatafuta nini manake watoto sasa hata hawaangali hawashuliki mm-hmm. sasa unapata m- baba ambaye ndio the male figure anaachwa sasa ndiye akaangaika na watoto na unajua watoto wanahitaji mama kuwa pale especially mama akiwa yuko hai mm-hmm. ni a very important figure so sure. unapata wanaume wanakuja ku report na wameaffectiwa sana mm-hmm. na wao pia tuko pale tunasaidia so majorly what we do on issues of GBV mm-hmm tume broaden na wa approaches on the way we work on GBV issue kwa sababu one approach is not enough aha uh-huh. great na lazima pia tulete different stakeholders na partners on board mm-hmm. ili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja mm-hmm. that's why nakwambia we sauti ya wanawake ni vugu vugu wa women rights movement we realized tukiwa na wanawake kidogo we will not achieve mm-hmm. so even on this issue of gender based violence to me realize if we do it alone as sauti ya wanawake we might not achieve more so, so we must work together so what we've been doing mm-hmm. we've been doing a lot of awareness creation within the community on different levels kuna zile ambazo zina touch on uh, the women and as sauti na wake one of the key issues one of the key things we do is creating a safe space for women mm-hmm. that safe space ni kitu moja ambacho sauti na wake tumeweza kuleta on board kwa wanawake. So ile safe space inasaidia wale wanawake kuweza kuzungumzia the GBV uh, violations ambazo wanapata. It's not rape alone. Mm-hmm. Kuna hiyo rape and then kuna hiyo domestic violence that the women are also facing. But pia kuna violations of on even access to property. Mm-hmm. Access yeah. to land. Mm-hmm. Unapata sasa wanawake na kuwa violated hawezi ku access hizo. So ile safe space tume create ya <coughs> wanawake through kongamano za ambazo tunafanya wanawake wanaweza kushare na pia tunaweza kuwapatia nafasi ya kuweza ku, kupata ile elimu ya kujua niki nikirepiwa nitafanya nini kama mwanamke ama kama, kama msichana mm-hmm. nitapata usaidizi wapi mm-hmm. then kuna ile the need ya mwanamke pia kuweza kujua how do i protect myself in a mwanzo so that nisiweze ku, ku, ku jiweka katika hatari zaidi ya kuweza hata kurepiwa kuna zile kuangalia the danger signs around your area vitu kama hizo ili mm-hmm. kuweza kuripot na kujua how do we curb that in advance yeah. alafu pia apart from awareness creation kuna ile capacity building through trainings a lot of trainings we have been doing to the women mm-hmm. training them as case managers ili waweze kujua because we have women ambao tume identify ambao pia wako proactive in supporting the the GBV survivors mm-hmm. ama GBV victims within the community so wale wanapata zile skills on how do they take up these cases and support these survivors yeah. what do they do with them kufika mpaka police station access to justice to the court mm-hmm. tunaenda mpaka kotini ku support ili wale perpetrators manake wako na wale ni watu ambao wanafaa ku face the law ili waweze kujua kile nimefanya ni kibaya na pia waweze kupata rehabilitation as they go to court na hata wakifungwa mm-hmm. kuna ile rehabilitation process ili waweze ku understand kwamba whatever they have done is wrong mm-hmm. na wabadilike na wawe hata change agents because we have a few perpetrators who come up as change agents wameweza right. kupata kwenda kifungo na wameweza kubadilika as change agents mm-hmm. na wanaweza kuambia wenzao kwamba i did 1 2 3 4 haikuwa nzuri and this is not right alafu pia kuna the aspect of male engagement mm-hmm. ambao tumeweza kuleta wanaume on board na kuwapatia capacity building as change agents na wao wanaume wanazungumza na wenzao in the community wana create awareness pia na pia kuambia wale wenzao kile tunafanya kama ku violate ku rap ku defile watoto mm-hmm. si vizuri so they need to change so we have role models male ambao sasa ile aspect ya male engagement na pia kuna media we work with them kwa sababu mm-hmm. 
they do a lot of reporting sometimes wamepata zile case wameenda ku record so there is sensitivity in terms of how do they record how do they report these cases even as media as as a major player so that mm -hmm. you less survivor as you stigmatized at our key report ile case mm -hmm. so we work very closely with media at our peer capacity building the media to understand um reporting in such a way that then they don't violate the right of this survivor in the family kwa kuwa stigmatize more waki waki report zile cases mm -hmm. then also we work very closely with this government the county government the national government mm -hmm. na tumeweza ku push for quite a number of policies and bills like uh, an SGBV bill current one in Mombasa county we have been pushing for it we have lobbied we have been sitting with them kuweza ku support development of this bill paka mahali imefiki haijapita but at least we have a document we have worked together yeah. we have worked together with Kwale county government in developing the SGBV bill mm -hmm. ambapo saizi we have a document that can be tabled to the to the to the county government tuweze kuona kama zitapita we have also we have worked with very closely with county government of Taita Taveta county to develop an SGBV bill mm -hmm. Na ya huko ilipita by the way. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. So we are also looking at the policy level, mm -hmm. not just creating awareness at the community level because then when we create awareness wanawake wamepata mafunzo watoto. Kumbuka our target beneficiaries majorly ni women. The youth specifically the girls. Mm -hmm. Na watoto. Kwa watoto we take both boys and girls kwa sababu anyone below 18 years old ni vulnerable. So really? even the boy child is a key beneficiary ama target that we really work with so that tuweze ku enhance pia waweze kukua wakijua kwamba ni watoto ambao watagrow kama wanaume ambao are role models in the community so that wao and pia, agents of change and agents of change so that to see wache nyuma mm -hmm. ili wa, wa, wabaki nyuma they need to be agents of change so tuna wakuza kutoka chini then we also do school program uh -huh. whereby kwa mashule both primary secondary even tertiary we have the ones that we work with mm -hmm. now how pia kuna ile awareness creation at their level alafu pia wajue kuwa nikiona danger sign what do i do mm -hmm. wajue kuwa their areas is not see vizuri wao kupita especially at night hizo kujua what they need to do in advance alafu pia tunawa empower hawa watoto ili waweze kujua kuwa wakivaileti wakidefailiwa anafaa ku report what do they need to do alafu pia kuna ile also taking them through uh wao kuweza kuelewa how to be assertive enough kuna hizo mm -hmm. life skills ambazo tunawapatia yeah. pia mm -hmm. so school program pia na pia walimu tumeweza kuwaleta on board kuna walimu tumeweza kuwa train from different schools pia ili waweze kujua kwamba as a school how do we become change agents peer to facilitate our children our pupils in school ili tuweze kuwasaidia wa, waishi kwa a safe environment in school safe environment should be holistic yeah not only at home kwa mashule kwa machurches we work with religious leaders both the muslim when we talk about safe space uh you sauti ya wanawake is definitely a safe space right and how do you ensure for example i am a survivor of gbv how am i assured of my safety when i'm with sautia wanawake how do you ensure that i'm protected as sautia wanawake what we do first confidentiality is key mm -hmm. within sautia wanawake organization mm -hmm. up to the grassroots level kwa hivyo tukipata survivor kwanza number 1 to protect so that then people do not know kwamba huyo ni survivor na ame report kesi kwetu that is number one. Mm -hmm. by keeping confidentiality being very key then <clears throat> we take them through a psychosocial support counseling kwa sababu how survivors ama victims wamevaletiwa already psychologically wamekuwa affected na ili waweze hata kuelewa kwamba they need to report na kuelewa kwamba they can access justice kuelewa kwamba wanaweza kupata treatment kwa sababu then we have to take them to the health facilities specifically the gender based violence recovery centers mm -hmm. ili waweze kufanyiwa test waweze kupata pep waweze kutritiwa kama maybe alidefailiwa sometimes it is so bad such that anafaa kupata matibabu huyu survivor mm -hmm. so pia kuna ile psychosocial counseling ambayo tunawapeleka through a whole series ili waweze kuelewa na tuweze kuwaleta back to vile walivyokuwa mm -hmm. then the other thing that we do also now is to take them through the referral pathway 
ya GBV ambayo referral pathway na entail ku psychosocial support taking them to the referring them to the gender based recovery center na referral yetu ya sauti is not a referral where ati tunakuandikia karatasi chini tumeku refer chukua survivor walk yourself to GBVRC unit at the coast general ama ile ambayo iko mvita mm-hmm. no we walk with you ndio maana nakwambia hii vugu vugu ya wanawake ni wengi that is why they have to be many mm-hmm. we walk with survivors too the GBVRC kabisa kwenda naye kwa sababu anaweza kuanza ile safari katika tianjia me give up yeah true so we take them there mm-hmm. we ensure kwamba wamepata ile treatment and we appreciate the partnering that we have mm-hmm. with the GBVRC the health the police officers mm-hmm. the courts kwa sababu ile partnership inatuwezesha hata tukifika pale wanapata ile matibabu wanaangaliwa vizuri zaidi then going to the police station to report now sometimes wale yule perpetrator huwa tunamjua anajulikana yuko now working with the police to ensure kwa amearestiwa mm-hmm. then now anakuwa charged in court kuweza kukuwa answerable for whatever amefanya kama ni kurep kama ni kudefile then we support these uh, survivors kwa sababu kotini mpaka waende we work with them to court now hapa sasa we lobby me, women who are kotini and then now our witnesses pia ku work together with witness protection agency yeah. ili kuweza kuwa protect na kuweza ku ongea nao kwa kuambia kwamba usiogope mm-hmm. you are the witness mnajua what happened so you need to speak out so tunaifanya holistically na pia hata hata yule survivor akipata access to justice tuseme yule perpetrator amefungwa mm-hmm. survivor at least ameenda ile counseling na hatumwachi hapo hapo sio mwisho kwa sababu tunaangalia sometimes a good number of them wanaishi at the poverty level so then now how do we economically empower them mm-hmm. kuweza ku fanya vitu ambavyo vitaweza kuwapatia food on table hold that thought it is 9 am let's uh, jump to the top of the hour when we come back we're going to wind up with a uh, sauti ya wanawake and of course we're still hanging out with uh, Dina Otieno from Sauti ya Wanawake Pwani and we were just talking about gender based violence and how uh, Sauti ya Wanawake they help women survivors of uh, gender based violence to actually pull through that journey because it's a very tedious journey a very heartbreaking journey and you uh, were just uh, talking about how you economically empower the women or even if a man is a uh, violated or he is a survivor do you take them through the same journey that you will take a woman or how does that go about yes we take them through the same journey especially wale wamekuwa sodomized mm-hmm. the journey is the same kama hawa ambao wamekuwa raped mm-hmm. ama wale ambao wamekuwa defiled the journey mm-hmm. is the same okay and then wale wa domestic violence domestic violence both to the men and to the women because there are men who have been beaten very badly na wanawake and we have uh, such cases ambazo tumekuwa tukipata tulifunga huyu mwanamke because then kuangalia the process hata tukienda police station na kotini really huyo mwanamke ndio alikuwa mwenye makosa kwa nini okay. tumtetee na yeye ndio mwenye makosa so yesterday someone i someone saw my post akasema ah hata si tunafaa tuanze sauti ya wana, wanaume so kumaanisha sema hii with a very firm voice kumaanisha sauti ya wanawake is looking out for everyone in the society yes for everyone in the society sasa pato usikize na usikize vizuri sana <laughs> kama unapigwa nyumbani tafuta sauti ya wanawake <laughs> watakusaidia kabisa <laughs> watakusaidia you don't really kabisa. have to start a sauti ya wanaume if the organization already is actually helping men out there who are going through issues yeah. through these issues right and uh, another important question is if for example uh, a girl out there a woman or a man is uh, defiled or is sodomized or raped is there a hotline can i call a number to report the case if i don't know where to find you uh physically yes there's a number in fact mm-hmm. uh, we have um, a situation room ambao tulianzisha oh okay yes. and uh, our situation room iko physical physical location ni iko hapa Mombasa at uh, Tononoka mm-hmm. and uh, through the partnership that we have been having with our partners then we 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 initiated this situation room from uh, 20 um 
20 wakati wa covid 19 ilianza mm-hmm. and uh, because then at that time gbv cases zilikuwa rampant na on the rise mm-hmm. so uh, together with the um, uh, county department of gender mm-hmm. basa county mm-hmm. and um, um, the uh, uh, technical uh, working group uh, members of gbv we started up with uh, this uh, situation room we are partnering together with all those ones mm-hmm. and then uh, our it located at Tononoka Hall kingi at Tononoka Hall yeah. ndani mm-hmm. in the compound utaona hall but on the la- left hand side there is a situation room imeandikwa Mombasa County Gender Based Violence Situation Room aha tuko hapo pia na tuko na wanawake pale wengi tu ambao wanasaidia survivors so the toll free number ni 0800 720 587 0800 right. It's a toll free number. It's a free of charge. Hata sasa hizi ukipiga simu kuna mtu atashika na hautakatwa hata shilingi. Great. So hiyo ni platform kuna wale ambao wame violetiwa na mahali ambapo yuko anaona kitambo cha kimbia afike kwa sauti wanawake ofisi yetu. Kumbuka we have offices in all the wards. Yes where they can go physically and report mm-hmm. they have contacts the sauti wanawake members and our officials mm-hmm. at the community level grassroots level they can call mm-hmm. but there's also this toll free number mm-hmm. anaweza kupiga na ikashikwa na pia aka report akatuambia niko mahali fulani mm-hmm. na hapo tuka arakisha na tukamsaidia so this toll free number mm-hmm. is open to all the six sub counties all right yes so Uh, people report so we have cases from different sub counties mm-hmm. from different counties as well not yeah. only Mombasa alone mm-hmm. so it is open na pale pia tunawasaidia tunawapeleka through the same referral pathway lakini wakipiga simu na wako mbali ama pahali wako it's risky for them to move then tunawasaidia kwa haraka zaidi through hiyo Toll free, toll free number. number. Yes, yes. Great. Okay, uh, we've talked uh, we've talked about gender based violence. What are some of the other thematic areas that uh, you focus on briefly? Um mm, hmm. before I talk about thematic areas, I just yes. remember in Kilifi County, uh-huh. we have also worked very closely with the county government of Kilifi, mm-hmm. specifically the Department of Gender, Department of Health. Na huko pia tuli push for agenda policy and the SDBV bill that we started working together with them and other partners as well mm-hmm. ambao pia ni kitu ambacho tunangazia so we move as tunaendelea ku move huko Lamu tunakuja Tana River tunakuja huko kutengeneza SGBV bill pamoja na nyinyi so the county government the department of gender zuko health kweni tayari we are coming uh-huh. uh, the other thematic areas that we wa- we are working on is health access to health ambapo pale ndani tuko na issues of uh, sexual reproductive health rights mm-hmm. to the youth mm-hmm to the young girls na all other health issues pia ziko pale ndani then we have uh, education pia ni our other thematic area where by we focus on uh, uh, return to school policy ili government ilitoa mm-hmm. ambapo tuna complement government's work kwa kuensure pia sisi tuna map out watoto wale ambao waendi shule wale wame drop out wale wasomi mm-hmm. na tunawaregesha shule actually sauti wanawake members ch- chapters kule katika ward levels na villages they do that on a daily basis na tunawalink kama shida ni school fees then we see opportunities ambazo ziko available kuweza kuwasaidia kupata school fees we have leaders elected mm-hmm. we have county government we have bursaries ambazo zinatolewa tunawalink pale then the other thematic na pia wan, wanawake wetu wa sauti ya wanawake kuna wale wali drop out of school kitambo through this thematic area ya education tumeweza ku wasaidia wakarudi shule mm-hmm. wakarudi form 2 form 3 form 4 wakamaliza wale wali drop out wale waliacha at college level wakarudi wakamaliza so hatuangalii watoto tu pia wanawake wale ambao wali drop na tunawawezesha na wanarudi shule wow. na wanamaliza we have quite a good number that we can mention good example ambao walirudi na wakamaliza Aha. then we also have women economic empowerment Uh, na livelihoods mm-hmm. ile pia ni our very strong thematic area ambao we are focusing on then uh, issues of all economic empowerment issues ziko hapo ndani mm-hmm. then we have uh, a thematic area on women rights and governance ambao pale tunaangazia masuala ya now the governance issues ambao pale ndio tukizungumzia mambo ya women getting into decision making table through mm-hmm. either politically or nominated or through appointive uh, positions kama katika zile committee levels iko hapo katika hiyo thematic area. Mm-hmm. Then the other one is women peace and security. 
pale tunaangalia masuala ya insecurity yote kuna issues of counter violence extremism prevention of violence extremism zote ziko pale na wanawake pia na others wako so much affected so pale tunaangazia all security issues insecurity issues ziko katika ile thematic area yetu mm-hmm. hapo ndani alafu gbv is a health issue we know lakini tuliweka as a standalone thematic area kwa sababu through easily violations ndio zilifanya organization ika ikakuwa ikafumiwa na ikakuja mm-hmm. na na bado GBV is a very critical issue a very major issue to debt yes so tunaiangazia as a standalone thematic area kwa sababu ina mambo mengi sana pale ndani ambao tunaangazia so all the six um, counties hizo thematic areas zetu ziko very strong and active in all those areas kwa sababu now we are looking at those issues na hizo ndio zinachangia sana kugandamiza wanawake talking about strong and, and active how do you measure the impact and effectiveness of your organization in all these thematic areas we do kuna so many ways that we, we measure our thematic areas number one is just um, kuna ile attitude and change of perception wakati tulikuja ku create awareness na kufanya kazi pamoja na community structures religious leaders na wanawake tuliwapata kama wako na katika ile level ya patriarchy mm-hmm. patriarchy inazungumzia ile level ambao sasa wanawake yani kuna zile traditions na religion ambazo zimechangia zaidi kukandamiza yule mwanamke kwa sababu ya oh mm-hmm. tradition yetu inasema kwamba tufai kufanya hii na hii sisi kama wapwani sisi kama wajaluo sisi kama wakisi sisi kama uh, wamijikenda so zile traditions mm-hmm. zimechangia kuwaweka katika upper track level mm-hmm. so ile awareness imefanya wanawake wanaume wakabadilika wakaanza kuona kuwa hakuna tradition zingine ambazo sio sawa ni za kutugandamiza tuziache mm-hmm. tuachane na hizo tu embrace zile ambazo zinatukuza pia uh-huh. then there is um, acceptance pia in the community ambapo tunaona community ownership mm-hmm. sio lazima tupeleke resources in terms of money ndio ile community iweze ku, ku, ku step up na kusema kwamba ai kuna mtu amevioleta mwanamke ameweza kumrep huyu si wa kumwacha huyu lazima tumshtaki na tusaidie huyu survivor so community coming up and owning taking ownership of these programs ambazo tumepeleka pale mm-hmm. na kuweza kujitolea a lot of by the way kazi yetu tunafanya sana na volunteerism work so a lot of volunteerism iko pale pia mm-hmm. so watu wanajitolea mm-hmm. na kufanya yale masuala na hata tusipoenda katika jamii leo na kusema kuwa wacha twende tukaangalie Eh hey, area ya Kisauni ziwa la ngombe ama hii area ya Likoni tuangalie kunaendelea vipi mm-hmm. already wao wenyewe already they are sharing with us tuko na very many success stories coming up mm-hmm. wana share tumefanya hivi leo jana tulifanya hivi we need community themselves huwa wanatupigia na kutuambia sauti ya wanawake we need support tunataka kufanya mkutano sababu tumeona kile kijiji uh, fulani tumeona kuwa kuna violations nyingi sana pale za GBV na inaonekana kuwa pale ni awareness inahitajika tunataka kufanya ile awareness mnaweza kutusupport mm-hmm. mnaweza kutusupport mm-hmm. so we we give them the support that they need na kufanya ile mikutano mingi hata wakati mwingine hatujapanga lakini community themselves coming up so ile pia watu kubadilika alafu pia now we can talk of a number of perpetrators mm-hmm. ambao wamekama na kutuambia kweli tume, tulifanya vibaya sikujua kama ile defilement nilifanya ilikuwa mbaya sana i defiled my sister na haikuwa sawa yeah. na tumewa enroll katika psychosocial support na pia tunaweza kuzungumza na wengine wamekama pia strongly with their families to speak to the community and tell them hey this is not right tunaona mm-hmm. hisi sawa well. kwa hivyo kuna mbinu nyingi sana ambazo tunatumia kuweza ku measure our achievement na success na kusema kuwa kweli hapa tunaona success great we have only one minute uh, with that i want you to just uh, give us a brief outlook of the future of uh, sauti ya wanawake pwani and also is there a campaign that you currently working on majorly yes mm-hmm. um tuna our main focus kwanza ni kuweza kuhakikisha kuwa movement ya sauti ya wanawake imeweza kukua zaidi na zaidi how do by the way, how do a, any, a person join like i want to join how do i join 
if you want to join kwanza ni utuambie waishi wapi number one. Uh-huh. so that we we'll map out and see in your area pali uko uh-huh. which sauti na wake chapter is closer to your area okay so that then we we'll link you kwa sababu hatutaki kuchokesha akina mama tutaki mtu atoke changamwe aende mkutano wa sauti ya wanawake e, chapter ya mvita kila mara hiyo ni kumtoa mbali that yeah. is why zile services lazima ziwe karibu na pale wanawake wanatoka it's iwe tu a walking distance akitoka kwake 5 minutes 3 minutes 6 minutes members wako pale ofisi ko pale karibu yeah. so we link you kwanza closer to the sauti ya wanawake chapter that is closer to your area mm-hmm. then his thematic areas ambazo nimezungumzia to make the cascade paka kwa level ya the chapter level mm-hmm. so pale katika chapter ukiingia pale na uka join as a member mm-hmm. of course watakuelezea how they normally meet what they normally do mm-hmm. then sometimes akina like mama pia wako dynamic in their way their own way na tunawakubali vile walivyo kwa sababu unapata mtu labda yeye passion yake yuko very active on issues of education so katika ile chapter level utaona vitu za education atakuwa anafanya sana mm-hmm. wengine wako active on issues of gbv wengine wako active on issues of health although gbv ni cross cutting for everyone yes so as much as they do different things lakini unapata mtu anapata ile strength yake anakuwa very active in that area mm-hmm. na remember tumesema wanawake wote ni wetu so if you want to join tafadhali mtu asikufunge akwambie kwamba ati tumetengeneza a whole policy on how you're supposed to join so that wanawake movement no wewe njo tu vile ulivyo mm-hmm. we will accept you and tell you what we do mm-hmm. and we will enroll you in the process kitu chingine nataka pia kusema another major achievement mm-hmm. we have uh, wanawake ambao their families watoto wao walikuwa defiled uh-huh. na we appreciate kwa sababu wali come up strong through the support ambayo tuliwapatia mm-hmm. waliweza wanasaidia community hao pia sasa wana identify kesi zikiwa ziko wanazi receive wao pia wanawasaidia kwa sababu wanasema sauti ya wanawake ilinisaidia sana kwa hivyo hata mimi nimeona mwenzangu kwa community amerepiwa lazima nimsaidie na nimlete kwa sauti ya wanawake okay uh, give us your social media handles then we wind up we will we might have another <laughs> program to talk about sauti ya wanawake it is a very big movement and has a lot to talk about so we might arrange for another one to actually break down the thematic areas and all these issues but before that give us your social media handles if we want to contact you where do we find you mm tuko na website yetu unaweza kuenda pale find our website www.sautiyawanawakepwani.org mm-hmm. mm-hmm. na utatupata katika facebook uh, page yetu sauti ya wanawake pwani kwa twitter ni at sauti ya wake utatupata hapo uh, instagram yetu ni sauti ya wanawake pwani mm-hmm. um, blogspot yetu pia ni sauti ya wanawake pwani utatupata pale gani usijisema nafikiri nimesema zote na uh, yeah, we have a whatsapp mm-hmm. ya yeah, organization uh-huh. you can also reach out to us through our whatsapp number ambayo ni 0715705155 ama 0715705155 unaweza kutuandikia through our, our whatsapp number na pia mm-hmm. tutakusaidia ama ile toll free number niliyozungumzia 0800 as 72587 thank you very much uh, for your time dina we have really taken a lot of time up and tapigo the boko but <laughs> it has been great we will have this topic uh, this um interview more and more and more talking about women and how we can help them in the society thank you so much this has been the breakfast vibe show with me dana wampoi and we have just talked about gender based violence and a lot of other thematic issues that sauti ya wanawake pwani looks at sasa mmesikia wanaume mnaweza saidika huko pia